Hello to anyone watching this video. This is Juan. Some of you might already know me from tours that I've led with, that I've led you through before in different sections of New York. I'm from New York. Right now I find myself in Washington Heights. I make videos about public art, informative videos, but right now I'm going to bring you uh, a vlog, a video blog, something less formal just to uh, keep you informed and more connected to this amazing city. I find myself, uh, as I mentioned, Washington Heights on the northern end of Mitchell Square Park, a small park located uh, by 100, between 165th Street and 167th Street. Uh, some interesting works of art, one of which I've already presented in a more formal manner. It's the Washington Heights and Inwood War Memorial commemorating individuals who lost their lives uh, on the First World War. Uh, the area where I find myself is also where the largest hospital in all of New York is located. The New York Presbyterian Hospital. This is the number one hospital in all of New York City. Over here you see the Broadway Avenue sign and directly below it Juan Rodriguez Way. Juan Rodriguez, first Manhattanite, first person that lived on this island. Uh, he was actually from what today is the Dominican Republic and he lived on this island in the early 17th century, early 1600s. This is Mitchell Square Park. It's a very small park. On the southern end, I'm going to show you a sculpture that is going to be installed here up until March of this year. So this is it right over here. I'm on the southern end of Mitchell Square Park and this is the uh, work of art that I mentioned. It's called Hiroshima Buddha, a work that was created in 2011. This is the back of the work. The artist who created it, his name is Matt Johnson and he is based in Los Angeles, California. This particular work has been here since November 2014. It's going to be running up through February and early March. They'll take it down. It's part of a sculptural program. Ten sculptures situated throughout Broadway Avenue. From it's made possible by the Broadway Mall Association and the New York City Parks Department. This particular exhibit along Broadway Avenue was made possible, as I mentioned, by these uh, two organizations, the Broadway Mall Association and the New York City Parks Department, but it was curated by the Marlboro Chelsea Art Gallery, wonderful art institution. The curator of this particular exhibit, Pat Spengeman, uh, specifically said about this particular work, the site was scaled just right for the piece. It just felt right for a contemplative, meditative artwork. The fact that the park is surrounded by hospitals gives the work further resonance as a devotional object and a symbol of perseverance. I hope the park goers enjoy it. Uh, we definitely enjoy it this time of year. There are not a lot of people in the park, as you can see, it's covered in snow, and it's very, very, very cold. But the inspiration for the work itself was a sculpture that survived the Hiroshima uh, atomic bomb explosion uh, during the Second World War. Here it is, it's nine feet tall and it's of bronze. It's made out of bronze. And it has a hole through the center where there was grass planted uh, on it. Right now the grass is dead, but in November the weather was still favorable and it was still green. All right, that was it for this short uh, video blog that I'm starting. I'm going to be making more videos on a regular basis. Uh, if you are on Facebook or YouTube, I encourage you to like the Facebook page. If you find yourself on YouTube, if you have a YouTube account, uh, subscribe to my channel. I also make more formal videos, more academic, but this video blog is uh, less formal. I apologize if uh, the footage came out a little shaky. Uh, it's very windy today, so that might have interfered a little bit with uh, uh, voice presentation. But nevertheless, uh, if you feel inclined, uh, follow, and I'll be, I'll be sharing more sites with you of this amazing city. New York is amazing, and one of the things that make it amazing are the wonderful works of art that are located throughout the public spaces in, uh, on, in New York. So thank you for my friends who have participated on tours with me. I hope you're doing well. I hope your new year, uh, the new year 2015 is also going well. Let me know how you're doing. Uh, if you are, if you have liked the Facebook page on the comment section, let me know how you're doing. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you and have a pleasant day, everyone. Bye.